In July 1934, for some background, Hollywood cleaned up its act and enforced a code that controlled screen content. Well, before that, it was anything goes. And tomorrow, the Roxy Cinema begins a festival of these pre-code movies, and they may surprise you. I'm in an orgy, wallowing, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, the movie well, is Strangers May Kiss from 1931, and it's I just one of 14 head. racy films oh, no, in the Roxy's Festival, hardcore and proud of it. These films were made before censorship took hold in 1934 and are more daring than anything Hollywood made up to the 1960s. This dance is to educate you how you should arouse a man. <laughs> a man shouldn't need it. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Hmm? Keep away from me, I'm warning you. Why don't you do it? Keep away from me. Some pre-codes are downright perverse, such as Red-Headed Woman with Jean Harlow. Oh, do it again. I like it. Do it again. <laughs> My poor child, I am with you in your grief. They could also be politically outspoken. Gabriel Don't over the White House criticized okay, the government's handling of the Great Depression. To the stupid, lazy people of the United States to force their government to do something before everybody slowly starves to death. But I think it's all stuff for us to be married. Mainly they're just adult, as in Mary Stevens, M.D., with Kay Francis as an unmarried doctor having an affair with a married man. Take a good grip on that desk. Plant your feet firmly and prepare for the shock of your life. What? I want to have a baby. Would you mind saying that again? These movies are fun, they're honest, they're socially interesting, and they're also rare. Some of the movies scheduled and never shown, and this is a chance to have a blast, and also to see what human nature was like 60 or 70 years ago, and it's the same as now. Yeah. Oh, wow.